Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install and use PyCharm IDE on your Windows 11 operating system. So PyCharm IDE is one of the most popular IDEs for developing Python based applications. So let's see how we can install it. So before installing PyCharm IDE, you need to have Python installed on your Windows 11 operating system. So if you don't know how to install a Python on your Windows 11 operating system, I have already created one video about that. I will put the link of that video in the description so you can watch how you can install Python. And once you have Python installed on your Windows 11 operating system, you are ready to install PyCharm IDE. So for installing PyCharm, you just need to open your favorite browser and search for PyCharm. And the first link which will appear here will be from jetbrains.com forward slash PyCharm. So JetBrains is a company which uh, makes PyCharm. It also makes uh, different IDEs. So just click on this link. I'm going to put this link in the description of this video also. And straight away you will be able to see the download button at the top and you can see the download button here. So you can click any of these buttons. And here on the next page you will be able to see two versions. One is the professional version and other is the community version. So professional version have more features than the community version, but for developing uh, simple and straightforward Python based applications, you just need the community version. So I'm going to download the community version by clicking on the download button here and it's going to start the download of this PyCharm community.exe file. So just wait for the download to complete. So once this exe file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this file and I'm going to minimize my browser, which is going to start the installation process for PyCharm IDE. So first of all, you will see uh, this uh, window which says, do you want to uh, allow this app to make changes on your device? I trust this app so i'm going to click on yes here and now you can see the pycharm community edition setup has been started so here just click on next and this will be the default location where pycharm ide will be uh, installed on your windows 11 operating system if you want to change this location click on browse and select the location and once you are done click on next and here on the next window you will see the installation options so I generally select this checkbox which says create desktop shortcut which is going to create a desktop shortcut for me and I can also select update path variables which will require the restart right so if you want to uh, add the bin folder to your path then you can select this checkbox also i'm going to skip this for now but i will recommend you to just check this checkbox you can also select create association with .py files and then add open folder as project uh, in context menu also let me click on next button and then click on install which is going to start the installation process of pycharm on my Windows 11 operating system. So at this point, I just need to wait for this progress bar to reach to the 100% mark. You can also click on the show details button, which is going to show you all the details, what's happening in the process of installation of your PyCharm IDE. And once the installation of PyCharm is finished, you will see this kind of window. Here you can check this checkbox, which says run PyCharm community edition, and then click on finish, which is going to launch your PyCharm IDE. Also, you can see the desktop icon has been created on my Windows 11 desktop. So from the next time you can click on the shortcut and then open your PyCharm IDE. Now for the first time when you start PyCharm IDE, it's going to ask you if you want to import any settings from the previous installation. I don't have any previous installation of PyCharm. So I will just leave it as default, which is do not import settings and then click on OK, which is going to start the PyCharm IDE. And you can see now PyCharm IDE has been started. So you can see uh, this window here. In order to create a new project, you can click on the new project here. And also you can customize your PyCharm installation by clicking on the customize uh, section here. So let's create a new Python project using this PyCharm IDE. So I'm going to click on the new project button, which is going to uh, show me this window. Here I can uh, give the name to my project default name is python project i can change it to let's say hello world here 
and then you can choose the environment so i want to uh, create this project using virtual n you also have the option to choose pip n so i'm going to leave it as default and then this will be the location of that environment and then you can also select your interpreter right so as i have mentioned you need to have python installed on your windows operating system in order to use pycharm to develop your python project so you can see i have pre-installed this python that's why pycharm has detected the python uh, executable on my windows 11 operating system and it's showing me this option if you don't have python then you will not see this option so i will recommend you to install python first and then install pycharm i'm going to just click on create which is going to create a new project for me and when pycharm ide starts it always gives you these tips so you can read them and cl then click on close and you can see my project has been created and this project have one file right now which is called main.py file and you can see pycharm has also created a sample uh, python uh, program for me inside this main.py file right so in order to run this main.py file i can just right click here and then click on run file in python console which is going to run this uh, python file in the python console so you can see it has opened the python console and the output is printed here so basically we were printing high pi charm here which is printed here okay so this is basically a python function and we are calling the python function inside the main method so this is like calling a main method in uh, other languages like java or c++ also from the next time you can see uh, this run main button so when you press this button it's going to run your python file or you can click on the debug button so you can uh, uh, just create a breakpoint here and then run the debug button and it's going to uh, you know run your python file in the debug mode so this is how you can download and install and use PyCharm on your Windows 11 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.